all right it's a few days before christmas and i bet some of y'all are out there like oh my gosh i want to get my nails done before christmas but i don't know what design to do because every single time i look on pinterest all the designs are from like 2016 and they're very outdated and some of them are kind of ugly i got you in this video i'm going to show you four designs because i was too lazy to do five so there's going to be four and they're kind of like christmas holiday ones but they're not super out there you know because sometimes they're just a little bit too much for me you could do these nails any time of the year but like if someone sees you with these nails during Christmas time, they're like, oh, those are like kind of Christmassy. And I also have one that's good for like New Year's Eve. Enjoy the video. All right, so we're starting out with just nothing on my nails. I did gel X nails for all of these designs. I'm first gonna be buffing away the shine from the nail. It always makes the nail polish adhere to the nails better. And then I just go in with some rubbing alcohol to remove all the dust from buffing them and so there's no oil on my nail. I'm first gonna take this kind of peachy-ish nude color and then I'm putting that on all my nails. and then I'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds. And then I'm actually going in with another one, but this one's a little bit more pink. And I really, really like these two colors together. Sometimes they're too nude and sometimes they're too pink, but with both of these, it's like the perfect color. And I actually went on all of my nails when I didn't even need to. I just didn't know the design I was doing yet. I only needed to put it on my pointer finger and my ring finger. And then again, curing that for 30 seconds. And I actually mixed two colors to make the green color that I have in this look because both of them weren't really what I wanted so I took a super dark one and more of a Christmassy green to make a forest green color and I put that all over my nails on my middle finger pinky finger and my thumb and I put one coat of that and then I cure it for 30 seconds and then I put another coat on it just to make sure it's really opaque and then something I've been doing recently that's been making my manicures look so much better I've been taking my long skinny brush and I've been going kind of in the edges like you're seeing right now and just filling that in and it makes the manicure look so much more professional and just overall so much better And then I'm taking that same long skinny brush and I'm going on my pointer finger and I'm just kind of outlining where I want my friendship. And then I'm just taking the nail polish brush and painting on the tip. And then I am putting a double coat on because it wasn't really opaque. And then curing it again. And that is a super easy French tip. And then on the ring finger, I'm just doing a swirly type design. I've seen a bunch of this design on Pinterest and I thought it would just add to the look. This was good already by itself, but I wanted to add a little bit more in there. So I took this gold, kind of looks silver, but it's gold, little sparkles. And I just outlined the ring finger design and the French tip on the pointer finger. And and it just added like a little bit more spice that I needed to this look. And then to finish it off, as always, I'm going in with my top coat. And then I do a final cure for 60 seconds. And then I go in with some rubbing alcohol and rub down all of my nails to get rid of that sticky coat from the top coat. Now I'm taking one of my favorite cuticle oils and putting that all over. In real life, they look way more forest green. They kind of look black on camera for some reason, but I absolutely love this design and how it turned out. Also, I'm going to be showing a picture of them if you guys want an inspo picture because I feel like it didn't capture fully like what they looked like on camera. These give me going to get a Christmas tree vibe. So on to the next one. All right, so as you can see right now, this is actually me doing my friend's nails. Anyways, I'm showing you the whole entire routine of how to do the Gel X nails on her. And first, I'm starting by prepping the nail and I'm going in with some cuticle remover, massaging that into her nails so it softens up her cuticle. I'm going in with the cuticle pusher backer, pushing back all those cuticles, just making sure they don't get in the way when we do our Gel X nails. 
and then I am buffing the nail just to add a little bit of texture so everything adheres to the nail way better and to remove all that stuff that I just put on there I'm going to rub it down with a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad and then one thing I have found that makes the gel X nails last so much longer is going in with a dehydrator and a primer and the one thing I will say with primer literally barely use any of that stuff I'm now taking the Extend Gel and putting one layer of that on all of her nails and then curing that for 30 seconds. And I actually got a new nail drill. The other one in my past videos is good, but I think it's better for beginners. I needed one that was a little bit more professional, but what I'm using it for is I am taking the drill and just roughening up the inside of soft gel extensions and I don't know all the terms yet but it's the speed six I don't know it's called something but I forgot and what this does is it just helps it adhere way better but when you don't do it it just they can pop off easier so I apply some of the extend gel onto the gel extension and then I put kind of like a glob of it at the edge of it. I start at the cuticle and I slowly push down until it fills up all of the air bubbles and then I take my cure light and just cure that. And now I'm going to be taking my drill with this diamond nail bit that kind of comes to a point. I'm just kind of going along her cuticle area just to soften up the harsh line from the gel extension so when her nails grow out it's more of a fade. And not just like a harsh line. These make the gel extensions look so much better. And then I'm taking my little buffer and I'm gonna buff off all of the shine on the nail. And then I got these new nail cutters and it actually has like a measurement thing on it. it. Cuts all of your nails the same exact length and it makes the process so much faster. And she likes shorter-ish nails so I kind of went for a shorter look. And they're kind of like squared off. They're like very short coffin if that makes sense. I'm going in with that same peach color from the last look and then applying one coat of that on all her nails. Curing it for 30 seconds, going with the pinkyish color and putting that on all her nails, and then curing it again for 30 seconds. And then I'm going in with this sparkly shade, and I'm actually going to be using a silicone sponge. And this is one of my favorite ways to get French tips. You literally just put it on the silicone sponge, dip your nail in it at an angle, and you're literally done. I'm going to now put a top coat on it. Do one last cure for 60 seconds and then wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol to get rid of the sticky base. These are very simple and I like adding more simple designs in these videos so more people can do them, but I feel like these would be so cute for New Year's. Gold and sparkles just seems very New Year's-ish. You could also do this for Christmas. I don't know, I love how this turned out. are prepped, buffed already, and this is probably one of my favorite designs in this video. I'm going to be going in with my peachy shade, one coat all over my nails. actually taking a different pinkier shade because I thought this look looked a little bit better with a pinkier tone under the nail. I don't know. I'm gonna be going in with a white nail polish, my very very messy white nail polish taking my long skinny nail brush. So I'm going to be doing just a classic white French tip on all of my nails. I take my striper brush and I just outline where I want the French tip. Literally, I barely have any polish on the long brush. And then I just take the nail polish brush with the white nail polish and fill in the top. Literally, once you get the hang of doing this, it will come so easy to you. It just takes practice. I do one coat of that, cure it, and then I go in with a second coat because sometimes white polish cannot be so opaque sometimes. So I do French tips on all of my nails. I got a big giant pack of pearls off Amazon and I'm going to be putting those on my nails and I'm going to be using hard gel to apply them. So I just put a little dot of hard gel. I put the little pearl on there with some tweezers. 
and then I cure that and that sucker is not going anywhere. They are literally so stuck on there. You can do this with nail glue. It was a little bit easier in a way to do it with hard gel because the nail glue dries really fast. And as you can see, I like to put all of the dots of hard gel where I'm going to put them so then I can just grab all of the pearls and put it on there once. I usually stop at four or three pearls per nail because it can look a little bit too cluttered, but I do that on all of my nails. And then I cure all of them and you want to make sure they are all cured before you go in with the top coat But then one thing I've learned with doing anything with on top of your nails like pearls or little rhinestones is I always put a top coat on top of it because it makes it so your hairs don't get stuck in it And so they don't fall off as easy. I do a final cure for 60 seconds rub it down with rubbing alcohol Putting some cuticle oil on there to really make sure my fingers are hydrated because they've gone through it the last few days. And I absolutely love how these turned out. As many of you might know, these are inspired by Kylie Jenner. Right when I saw these, I kind of thought they looked Christmassy. Kind of reminds me of snow falling, but you could wear these like whenever. And I love them. They're not too out there, but they're like a little bit more than usual. Alright, for our last design, of course, we had to do something with red because, you know, Christmas. On my middle finger, I am going to be taking this red nail polish and then putting two coats of that on there. And then on the rest of my nails, I'm going to take that peachy shade that I've shown the whole entire video. And then I'm going to be taking the pinkier shade and putting that on all of my nails as well. Curing that for 30 seconds, taking my long skinny brush, and with the red polish on my pointer nail, I'm going to be lining where I want my French tip, filling in the French tip, and then this was very hard to film, but on my ring finger and my thumb, I'm just doing swirly designs. You can honestly do whatever you want to each their own. I did mostly a red swirly design and then I added some white accents in there. And then on my pinky nail, I just did a red French tip. And then I do a final cure for 60 seconds, and then I'm going with my top coat, putting that on all of my nails. Curing that for 60 seconds, rubbing it down with rubbing alcohol to get rid of the sticky coat. And then, of course, again, going in with my cuticle oil. These are very Christmassy. I definitely would only do these near Christmas time. I'm not really the biggest fan of red nail polish. It just, I always feel weird with it on. I don't like how it looks with my skin. But if you love red nail polish, please do this look because this is so freaking pretty. These are very much like, oh yeah. It's Christmas Eve. It's Christmas morning. All right, so that's the end of the video. My favorite is in between these. The only thing is they kind of get annoying because I don't like things like on my nails, but my favorite is in between these and the dark green ones. The dark green ones were cute. I have another nail video coming soon where I'm gonna do a more in-depth, like more of a tutorial than a first impressions of Gel X nails because the last time I did a Gel X nail video, it was more first impressions and me like testing out the product and I've learned a bunch of tips and tricks on how to get these puppies to last. The question I got so much on my last videos, how long do they last? These literally will last you four weeks. It's the same exact thing as acrylic and dip. I have learned the ways to get these things to stay on. I'm be doing a video on like everything to know about gel x nails i'm really excited probably the last video i'm posting before christmas unless i can try and figure out another one to post so if it's near christmas or if it is christmas and you're watching this then uh merry christmas happy holidays i love you guys so much i'll see you in the next one bye